All right, folks, got a quick one for y'all today, or hopefully it'll be a quick one. I'm going to show you how to enable widescreen gecko codes on the Steam Deck. It's very simple, very straightforward. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is go into the desktop mode of your Steam Deck, and you're going to go into your Steam page, into your library, and select the Dolphin emulator. Depending on how you have your emulator set up, that is. I'm using EmuDeck, so all of my emulators are right here in my library so I can get quick access to them. So you're going to boot that up. It might take a second. All right, there we go. Then you're going to go into configuration. You're going to enable cheats. That's the first step. Now, the second step is you're going to go into your web browser. I don't know what you're using for a web browser. I have Firefox. And you're going to go to dolphinemu.org. I'll have a link in the description and in the pinned comment to this website. So you can just go right to it. Uh, not all GameCube games have widescreen gecko codes or AR codes. A lot of, uh, some GameCube games have like widescreen actually built into them. Like 007 Nightfire, for example, you can just go into the options and toggle it. But for other games like Mario Sunshine, for example, you need the gecko code. Uh, and I also point out that some games like Mario Sunshine already have the codes enabled on the Dolphin emulator, but I'm just using this as an example. So what you're going to do is go through here and copy this code. And then they have different codes for different regions. So you get the European, Japan, uh, there's a 60 FPS code down here. They have all kinds of codes for different things, but we're just doing the widescreen thing today. So once you've got the code copied, you're gonna go back into Dolphin. You're going to find the game, you're going to right click it, and then you're going to go to properties. And then you're going to go to gecko codes or AR codes, depending on what it is. You'll have to read the description on the Dolphin website. And you're going to go to add new code and you can write down a name for it. You can just put like 16 by nine for this demonstration. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go here to where it's, it says code, right click and click paste. And then you'll just click save and you're ready to go. Now I'm not going to do that here because again, it already has a widescreen code in there by default as well as some other codes and if you go over to AR codes it's got a whole bunch as well and for me as far as the GameCube games that I have this is the only one that has like codes already built into it. and I have not a massive GameCube library but I've got a few games here most of them I had to go in and enable the codes myself so now we're going to move over to the Steam Deck UI and I'm going to show you how to stretch the screen so that you can actually take advantage of 16 by 9. Right, so now we're back into the Steam Deck UI and what you're going to do is find the game that you enabled the widescreen gecko code for or AR code and go into it. So do Mario Sunshine. Now you can use any controller for this. The, con the controller prompt will be the same regardless of which controller you use. Uh, you can use it, just the, the Steam Deck itself but I'm using an Xbox controller just because that's what I've got to, the closest to me. Well, I guess aside from the Steam Deck itself, you can still use the Steam Deck controls even if you're uh, docked. So what you're going to do is hold the start button and then you're going to press right. So there's four by three, click it again, that'll stretch it. There's auto, which that's probably the one you wanna go with. Four 16 by nine, four is four by three. So there you go. That's how you switch between the aspect ratio. So if the game doesn't support 4x3 or doesn't support widescreen, you can switch it to 4x3 and vice versa. And if you want to change resolutions, I think most people probably know this, but while you're holding the start button, if you press up or down, you can increase the resolution of the game. So you can go up to, I don't know, six, seven times the resolution. Your frame rate will start to take a hit though after a while. Uh, times two usually is like the the sweet spot for most games, but again hold the start button press right And you can switch between different aspect ratios, so there you go. That's all there is to it I hope that you all found this useful It's a little bit more straightforward than the PC SX2 uh, Widescreen code thing that I did before I have a video on that if you want to check that one out and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll be back soon with more emulation stuff. I've got a couple more in mind that I'm going to do. And I'm also going to come back soon with some more playthroughs. So look forward to that. Please consider checking out some of my other content. And if you like the video, please consider hitting the like button. 
and subscribing as well for more content like this and leave your thoughts below. If you have any questions, something I might have missed, let me know in the comments. I'm pretty good about answering questions, but uh, yeah, I've wasted enough of your time. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.